Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to give you an example of what it sounds like when your outer CV axle starts to click or pop. And in my opinion, this is the stereotypical popping or clicking noise that you'll hear from an outer joint. So I'm going to show you that and then I'm also going to take the axle out and dissect it and show you what failed on the inside. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is the CV axle that came out of that vehicle and you can see here we have our inner joint and the part of the axle that goes into the transaxle there and then you have your outer joint which is where the noise is coming from and then the part that goes through the hub there. Now the reason that the axle uh, makes a clicking noise like it's popping more times than the wheel is actually rotating is because inside the outer joint there uh, you have six little balls that allow this this axle to move and rotate and still deliver rotational torque to that wheel there and to do it freely and what happens is those balls start to degrade a bit and it causes a popping noise so I'm gonna go ahead and take this boot off here and let's see what happened inside okay so we're just gonna rip right into this boot and I'm supposed to be wearing gloves doing this guys you should really wear some nitro gloves or something to protect your skin whenever working around automobiles and the parts that go on automobiles. Alright, so you can see up in there, and we're going to clean this up really good, that uh, those balls that I was telling you about, anyways when I'm rotating this I can just, I can feel that it's rough. But uh, let's clean it up and take a better look. Okay, so I got this cleaned up a bit. And you can see in there you got, you got those six balls. And, and right off the bat, this thing ought to be going back and forth really freely like that. And it's just, it's just not. I can feel it hanging up really badly. So uh, what happens is these balls start to wear out. And also the sockets that the balls roll in start to wear out. It creates a little bit of play and uh, they may bind up and when they unbind it could make a little clicking noise there so that's what I believe causing that clicking noise and of course that wear and tear can exist on more than one ball which is usually why it clicks more than one time per revolution of that tire uh, you can have up to six clicks on this thing but I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pop this off we're gonna take the balls out and we're gonna get a look a better look at these uh, guides where those balls are rolling inside there and moving around to see if we can see any wear and tear a little better than what we see right here. Now I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but inside where that ball runs on that little guide right there, a run right there, it's got quite a bit of wear on it. You see the, the uh, outsides are darker than the inside and then the inside where it's light, there's like a little stepped pattern right there. And it's like that on more than just that one. That one's really bad right here. And here are your the balls that go in there and they're not the worst looking but uh, then again they are kind of pitted a bit too so a lot of times what causes this is a torn boot uh, a lot of times if, if your boot is intact and if your clamps are nice and tight and it's not allowing uh, moisture and, and, and dirt and debris to get inside there uh, your CV axle should last a long time and not do this uh, but usually uh, intrusion of, of weather and dirt and debris and stuff is typically what causes something like this so you want to make sure that your boots are nice and intact and that you're not allowing that to happen and sometimes it just happens um, it, it, they just wear out so it's a mechanical part and it's bound to happen sooner or later 
actually I got this thing cleaned up a little bit more for you there you see on the edge how worn and pitted that is right there and in the middle there a little bit and on that edge too so yeah that thing's done for well folks I certainly hope that this helps somebody if you have any questions please comment down below uh, please also read the entire description down below before you use any of this knowledge. Uh, I have some more very important information down there that you need to know. And also a disclaimer at the end, so please read that, guys. Um, also, I may have some links to other videos down there, too, that you can look at. Again, if you have any questions, just ask. Please like and subscribe. Thanks again.